Number nine, it was about series. So you see, series as a topic, if you want a full topic for series, you can go to the playlist and then you touch there. It will scroll down and then you will see everything about series. So here it says, given that a GP is that, find the sum of the first 10 terms of the GP. Now you know that we have two formula for the sum of a GP, but that one we identify or we conclude based on the common ratio. So from here, we can first get our common ratio. So that our first term there is going to be 2. Then our common ratio R is given by 6 over 2, which will be 3. And you realize that from there, our R is greater than 1. And if R is greater than 1, then the sum we use is over R minus 1. So from here, they told us that the, ten, the terms are 10. So we just substitute in this formula. So now for 10 terms, I'm going to be having my A, which is 2. Then R, which is 3, power 10 over 3 minus 1. From there, straight away, get your calculator. Don't waste time. So from there, my calculator, I'll get... I'll get five, nine, zero, four, and eight. So that's what I obtain on my cacheta. So that's the sum with is. It was very easy for max. Then this one is saying, an AP in an AP comma, the sum of the fifteen, the fifth and the sixteenth term is forty-four. So now here they are telling us that they are summing that. 50th term and the 16th term and the sum is 44. You know that in an AP, this one is A plus 4D or this one is going to be A plus 15D but they are all giving us 44. Two, I think we see that 2A plus 19D equaling to 44 and this is equation 1. Then the other thing they're telling us that the sum of the first 18 terms, now the sum of the first 8 terms is 3 times the sum of the first 10 terms. So now, do we know the formula for the sum of the AP? Now for an AP, our sum is given by this. into a d. So from there, start my n from here. I'm going to substitute. Now my n is here 18. So I'm substituting there. So 18 n is equal in 3 times. Now I'm still substituting now. Here now my n is 10. Now my 10 minus 1 into a d. From there I can simplify. This is going to be 9 into 2a plus 17d. Equaling 3 into 5 into 2a plus 9d. From there. Now from here you saw that I can divide through by 3 by 3 there, also decide by 3 to give me a 3 there. So from there, I have, is that I think I have 3 into 2a plus 17d equals, this side I have 5 times this, I have 10, okay, I have 10a, okay, I have 5, into 2a plus 9d. Can open brackets to get 6a plus this one I think to give me 51d equals 10a plus 45d. Now you collect like terms, I take everything this side. So 10 minus this 10 minus 6. 
I'll be getting 4a, then minus, I think this is, yeah, I think we get a 6. <coughs> uh, 6, this is going to be 6d equals to 0, and this becomes my second D equation. And I'll just come and say, solve, solve 1 and 2. So if I put my 2 here, okay, if I start with this one, I have 4a minus 6d equals 0. Then from here, I can bring in this one, 2a plus 19d equals 44. You see here, I need to multiply here by 2. So multiplying here by a 2, and here I don't need to multiply anything. Or if I multiply, people can say multiply here by 2, and I multiply here by a 4. So this will give me 8a minus 12d equals to 0. This will give me 8a. Then that is 19 times 4, which is plus 76d equals 4 times that. I'll get 176. Sorry, 176. From there, if I subtract these two, if I subtract these two, be having this will go. So 12, I'll get 88d equals 176. So from there, is that my digit 2? Yeah, I think that is 2. So from there, you can use any to get the value of a. And if you see that if you substitute d here as a 2, we have 12 divided by 4. Our a becomes 3. So now our Roman numeral 1, our a is 3. The Roman numeral 2, the common difference is 2. So that is the answer for that. Then in number, I mean Roman numeral 3, Roman numeral 3, and I mean to put it here, Roman numeral 3, they want us to get the sum of the 530 terms. So our sum of 30 terms, we now use this formula, it's going to be 30 over 2 into 2a, our a is 3, then plus 30 minus 1 into our d, which is a 2. And so from there, don't waste time, you get your calculator. This is 29. So here I'm getting 960. So my sum of the third terms, that becomes the answer. So members, that's how we had to handle that number nine towards series. If you want a full topic about series, please feel free to go to the playlist and you'll find more things there. That's it, members. I wish you well. Anyway, here I was supposed to get negative. This one was supposed to be negative and this was supposed to be negative, but I skipped that step of dividing through by a negative. That's why I had that. Oh, if you want, you can put your negative there in that order. That's it. I wish you well.